Welcome to our CityBiz Digital English class today. Dear students, how are you? I think all of you are well. I am also fine. Today we will discuss about a unit from your English for today for class 9 and 10 book. That means English for today book for class 9 and 10. I request all of my students to take the book. It will be helpful to understand the topic. But before that, let me introduce myself first. This is Jahidu Jaman Chaudhuri, lecturer in English, Cambrian School and College, Dhaka. Today, we will discuss about a unit from your English textbook, English for today for class 9 and 10. Today, we will discuss unit 3, Schools of the World. Dear students, let us go through the text. Today, we will learn the characteristics of a Jela school in Bangladesh. We will also learn about some other foreign schools. Dear students, on the screen, we notice some pictures of the school. Devonport School of Girls for UK, school in Okajaki, Japan, Jela school in Bangladesh. Let us start. Students, what do you see in the picture? Do you have these facilities at your school? What type of environment should a school have? Let us describe the picture. At first, we notice a sports competition in a school, annual sports competition. Some students compete to be the winner. Uh, in picture two, uh, we look at uh, a school. Uh, in our country, number three, we notice a debate competition in a school. We notice a library in our country. We notice that a girl is learning computer. We notice a sleeper in front of the school and a student is enjoying. We notice a library and a computer lab together there are some students learning or study and some girls are learning computer and we notice assembly in a school compound dear students today we will read a letter about a Zela school in Bangladesh written by Rofik to Alom before that we will learn some words ample at first word ample there is an example here, a good school offers ample space for its students both in the classes and in the field. So, what will be the meaning of ample? Let us learn the meaning of the ample, plenty of, a lot of, huge, okay, lounge. Then we read the second word, lounge. So, what is a lounge? There is a teacher's lounge in our school where teachers sit and relax. So, what will be the meaning of lounge? Let us learn the meaning of lounge, a comfortable room to relax. Dear students, you know all the school have a teacher's lounge where the teachers uh, to take rest, stay and relax. Perhaps your school have also a teacher's lounge. Third word, compulsory. So, there is an example here. Primary education is compulsory, so children between 6 to 11 have to go to school. So, what will be the meaning of compulsory? Compulsory means something that must be done. So, you have to do it, you must have to do it. It means compulsory and recommended. We notice a patient and a doctor. The doctor recommended Mr. Hanif to walk regularly. So, what will be the meaning of compulsory? To advise someone for something. Now, potential. So, we notice a picture here, a good educational environment can develop student potential. So, what will be the meaning of potential? The meaning of potential, somebody's natural ability to be good at something. Dear students, every student will not be good at a study, but every student have some ability. The students have ability in maybe their ability in different sides. Some students are good at education, some students good at uh, sports. Some students good at uh, art, culture, singing, dancing, just like this. So, for every student have some potentials. This is the reality. So, we have to find out our potential. 
to be successful in our life. Dear students, we will go the next word enthusiasm. Enthusiasm, uh, we notice a picture here. Students have great enthusiasm for games and sports. So, what will be the meaning of enthusiasm? A strong feeling of interest. That means uh, something that we feel very strongly that is the enthusiasm. That means our attraction, our strong attraction on something. Okay, their students will go to the next word martial art. Martial art, perhaps you know what is martial art. Learning martial arts can help us to defend ourselves. Here we uh, notice that two students are practicing martial art, and some schools of the world, when we know some schools of the world outside in our country, then we notice that martial art is a subject. They have to learn about martial art, they have to practice martial art at a school. So, what will be the meaning of martial art? A sport of fighting with hands and feet. A sport of fighting with hands and feet. So, it is a mechanism, it is an art. So, we will go to the next word, a scot. Here we notice that a mother scotted his baby. The visiting prime minister was escorted by the soldiers. We know when prime minister visits some places, then uh, the security guard, that means army officials or army persons guard uh, the prime minister and they from front side, back side, every side, they guard their prime minister. So, this is called escort. So, when prime minister go to somewhere or some place, we have to say that the prime minister is escorted by the soldiers. So, what will be the meaning of escort? Let us learn meaning of the word to go with someone to accompany or to protect him or her. Then next word, recall. Here a person is recalling his memories. Runa recalls her happy time at Sunshine KG school. So, what will be the meaning of recall to remember something? Co-curricular activities. Here we notice a debate competition. Debate is a co-curricular activity that helps us to improve our speaking skill. So, what will be the meaning of co-curricular activities? Co-curricular activities means to relate something with culture, being outside of, but usually completing the regular co-curriculum previously known as extracurricular activities. Co-curricular activities means something not related to our compulsory subjects, but more than compulsory subjects. We can call it hobby, student have to choose his or her hobby to uh, fulfill their co-curricular activities. Dear students, now we have to go through the text. Here is a letter in your book. A student of Ezela School, Rafik, he wrote a letter to his friend Alam. Alam wanted to know about Rafik's school. So, Rafik wrote that letter to Alam. Now, we have to read the letter. This is a letter of Rafik written to Alam. Remember it, there is a letter of Rafik written to Alam. So, let us go through the text. Dear Alam, how are you? In your last letter, you wanted to know about the school I study in. You know that I am lucky to study in a Zela school here. This is the biggest and the most famous school in our town. Dear students, so here Rafik said to Alam that he is very lucky to be a student of Zela school. Now, why he felt lucky? Zela school is the biggest and most famous school of the town. So, Rafik said this, he is very lucky to study in a Zela school here. Then next, our school is near the Dhaka highway, not very far from the center of the town. It has an area of 4 acres and has 3 buildings and a large field. I should say we are lucky to have ample space both for classes and in the field. In the building, there are classrooms, the laboratories, the teacher's lounge, the office and canteen as well. The fields have a space for football and kabaddi. Sometimes in winter, we bring our own bats and balls and play cricket. Sometimes people use the field for local gatherings. Dear students, Alam uh, is a friend of Rafik and Rafik said that he studied in a Zela school. The Zela school, the area of Zela school is 4 acres. 4 acres means 12 bigas. We know 3 biga is equal to 1 acre. So, 4 acres is 12 bigas of land. So, it is a large area. So, the school have ample space both in the classrooms and in the field. 
Rafiq said that they usually play kabaddi, football and various kinds of games. In winter, they took their own bats and balls and play cricket. So this is, a, this is Rafiq's school, Jela school. And the location of the school is beside the Dhaka Chittagong Highway, not very far from the center of the town. So we'll go to the next portion. Our school is very busy all through the day. Our classes begin at 8.30 and run till 3.30 with a break at one hour. There are 750 students in 12 sections of six classes. In class nine, we have eight periods each day. Bangla, English, and mathematics are compulsory subjects, so we have them every day. In the junior classes, they have six periods. We also have three games periods each week when we play in the field. Dear students, Rofik here said that there are 750 students total in total in his schools and there are six classes, six to nine. There are students, Rofik said that their school start at 8.30 a.m. and uh, continue at 3.30 p.m. But they uh, got one hour break, that means uh, a break at uh, one hour. There are 12 section of six classes in his school and in class nine they have to attend eight classes every day, but in junior classes they have six periods and Bangla, English and Mathematics are the compulsory period. So they have to attend in these classes, that means Bangla, English and Mathematics every day. And they have three games period each week, they got three games period each week when they play games in the field. Perhaps your school have also games period, every school have a games period, as usual Rofix schools have three games periods. Now we have to go through the next portion. The teachers are very friendly. We can depend on our teachers not only for study matters, but also for matters related to our other interest. Some of them uh, run activity clubs in school. The clubs are places where one can go and pursue his or her hobby. I am a member of the debating club. We practice debating and arrange debating competitions among classes and among other schools as well. Our English teacher runs the club. He not only guides us in writing good speeches, but also shows us how to present them. There are students, we are teacher, but we are not only teacher, but also your friend. You can come to us in every aspects that you feel interest. We, it is our duty to help you. So Rofix is also uh, very lucky because the teachers of Rofix schools is very friendly. They help them in practice debating practice singing, dancing, that means co-curricular activities. So he is very lucky that English teacher, that means language teacher run the activity clubs. Activity clubs are the places where one can go and pursue his or her hobby. That means activity clubs is the place where one can practice his co-curricular uh, related all things. Rofik is the member of a debating club. Rofik said that there is debate among classes and also with other schools. And their English teacher not only helps them to write good speeches, but also shows the way to present them. That means their language teacher of Rofix school help the students in all sides how to write a good speech, how to present them. So he is an anchor, we can say that he is an anchor of the debate. Okay, we will go to the next portion. In short, I can tell you studying in this school is a great experience. Along with regular study, we can develop our other abilities as well. I hear you are planning to shift to a new school. If you ask me, I would recommend it my school without any hesitation with best wishes Rafik. That's all. Dear students, this is a letter uh, written by Rafik and written to Alum. Alum wanted to know Rafik about his school and Rafik describes his school. We can say describe because Rafik said everything about his school, the area, the condition, the classes, the activities, all things he said to Rafik. Perhaps you understand the topic. Let us go to the question. That means multiple choice question, question answer. And we will discuss uh, the question. If you feel any difficulties, I will show a contact number at last of my classes. I will give you my email number and you may contact with me by email if you feel difficulties to understand this topic. Okay, let us go to the question. Question 1. Dopik school is not far from his village, from the center of the town, from his home, from his earlier school, 
from the text we come to know that Ropis school is not very far from the center of the town. So, what will be the uh, right answer? Here we notice that number B there is a option from the center of the town. So, the correct answer is center of the town. The school has ample dash there is a blank here. So, ample we know the from the word meaning we knew the meaning of ample, ample means huge means lot of plenty of. So, the school has ample classrooms, laboratories, space, fields, fields, laboratories and classrooms have ample space also, but what will be the correct answer? We have to choose the most correct answer, not probably correct or partially correct. So, if we choose the correct answer, we have to choose only one option space, the school has ample space. Next question, their teachers are interesting, friendly, unfriendly, strict. Their students, we discuss uh, with you that the teachers will not only be a teacher, but also be a friend of the student. So, the manner of the teacher must be friendly. So, here we can choose only one option, very friendly, their teachers are friendly, not interesting, interesting is uh, something else that means related to object, unfriendly, no un unfriendly is not allowed and stick that means very rude, very rough, very punctual, so much punctual. So, it is not correct I think, so their teachers are friendly. Then we will go to the next question. The debating club is run by the mathematics teacher, language teacher, science teacher, games teacher. Here is a puzzling question, there is a, you have to think about the question, there is no direct answer here. At first the debating club is run by mathematics teacher, no, no mathematics teacher, language teacher. So, who are the language teacher? The language teachers are related with Bengali and English subject. So, the teacher who taught Bangla and English, they are called language teacher. The language teacher has, is not mentioned in the text. From the text, we come to know that their English teacher run the activity clubs. So, we have to choose it by ourselves and we have to choose by our own creativity that the language teacher means the English teacher, no science teacher here and games teacher, no mention about games teacher. So, the debating club must be done by the language teacher. Dear students, we will go to the next uh, portion, we will go to the true and false. Perhaps you know, you have to attend 5 true and false question in first paper 1 to from question number 1 to 8. There are 8 questions up to after scene comprehension, you have to answer all the 8 questions and question number 2 is true and false. If you notice that the answer is true, then you have to write true and if you notice that the answer is false, you have to write false, but you have to give the correct statement or answer. So, when you notice that answer is false, you have to write false, then you have to write the correct answer. Dear students, now we have to go to the questions about true and false. Let us see what which answer is true and which answer is false. Question number 1. In the field, there is a space for football and kabaddi. Is it true or false? What do you think? In the field, the space for football and kabaddi, we notice that there is ample space both in the fields and in the school uh, classrooms. And Rafik said that they play kabaddi and football in the field. And in winter season, they took their own bats and balls and play cricket. So, the answer will be true. Next question. Question number 2. Throughout the day, the students are busy with their class work. Here the question is that the students are busy all through the day with their class work. Is it true? Do, what do you think? Perhaps you understand that it is not true because the students study in the school, but from Rafik's statement, we come to know that Rafik not only study all through the day, they play cricket, kabaddi and football in the field they practice debating in the debating club and there is a activity clubs run by their English teacher. One can go and pursue his or her hobby there. So, uh, school is not for study all the time. So, we have to choose the answer. The answer is false. So, what will be the correct answer? We have to write the correct answer. They also have co-curricular activities. So, we have to write that 
throughout the day the students are not busy with their class work but also have co curricular activities here i mention only the answer part you have to write the total question in your own word dear students we will go to the next question in their school there are some compulsory periods every day in their school there are some compulsory periods that means there are some subject they have to attend the subject every day or each day is it true dear students for up you understand the answer of the this question the answer is true because rafik said that from 6 to 10 that means 6 to 9 they have to attend classes in upper classes they have to attend eight periods and in lower classes they have to attend six periods but all the classes they have to attend some compulsory periods that mean bangla english and mathematics are the compulsory periods that the students have to attend each day so they have some compulsory periods every day so the answer is true number 4 besides teaching teachers also take care of students other matters here the question is that the teacher is helping the student related without studies that means the teachers help the students that is not they are included in their study but also uh, their other interests that means uh, from the text we come to know that the teachers help the student to pursue his or her hobby and debating clubs the teacher help the student to write good speeches and also shows how to present them so here the question besides teaching teachers are take care of the students other matters is it also true then next question and last question alam is a member of the debating club of the jela school alam is the member of the debating club of the jela school it's a puzzling question dear students be careful when you are going to give the answer of the question if you are not careful chance may be come to give the false answer or incorrect answer here the question is Alom is the member of the debating club. Member of the debating club of the Zela school, if you notice only this part, then you may be um, give the false answer. We, from the text, we come to know that the letter was written by Rofik and Rofik said that there is a debating club in their school and he is the member of the debating club. So, Alom is not the member of the debating club. Rofik is the member of the debating club. So, the answer is false. So, what will be the correct answer? Rafik is the member of the debating club. Dear students, be careful when you have to give the answer of the question. If you are not careful, then it is a chance. It a chance may be come to give the false answer. And then we have to go to the question answer part. You know there are five questions here. You have to give the correct answer of the questions. Question number one. Why did Rafik write a letter to Alum? Why did Rafik write a letter to Alam? That means, what is the reason to write a letter to Alam? Why Rafik is interested to write a letter to Alam? From the beginning of the letter, we knew that Rafik said, you wanted to know about the school I study in. That means, Alam wanted to know about Rafik's school. So, Rafik uh, is writing a letter to Alam to give the answer of Alam's letter. So, what will be the answer? Our answer is that Rafik wrote a letter to Alom because Alom wanted to know about the school where Rafik studies. So, this is the reason. Question number 2. What makes Rafik lucky? From the text, we come to know that Rafik said, I am lucky to study in a Jela school here, which is the biggest and most famous school of the town. It is not very far from the center of the town and it is situated beside the Dhaka Chittagong Highway. So, Rafik said that he is lucky to study in a Zela school. Why he is lucky? Because it is the biggest and most famous school of the town. You can give answer in this way. Rafik is lucky to be a student of a Zela school, which is the biggest and most famous school in the town. Question number 3. How much space does the Zela school have? How much space? This is a critical question. You have to think about the question for a while. Because if you do not think, then you will be give the wrong answer. Here the question is how much space? That means you have to mention the total area of the school. There is a word in the passage, perhaps you notice, there is ample space uh, both in the field and in the classes. But here the question is not uh, related to this part. 
the question is that how much space does Rofix school have? That means what is the area of Rofix school? So the answer is Rofix Zela school has four acres of land. Dear students, we will go to the next question. What did Rofik tell Alom about their activity clubs? Rofik told Alom many things about their activity clubs. At first, Rofik said that there is activity clubs run by the English teacher. Activity clubs are the places where one can go and pursue his or her hobby. He is the member of the debating club. Their English teacher run the debating club and the teacher is very friendly and helpful for the students. The teachers help the students not only help to write a good speeches but also shows how to present them. A, a lot of things Rafik said. But what is the main point here? We have to find out the main point. Here the question is what did Rafik tell Alam about their activity clubs? So the, if you say only one not about activity clubs, then we have to say activity clubs are the places where one can go and pursue his or her hobby. So our answer is Rafiq told Alam that activity clubs are the places where any student could go and practice his or her hobby. Dear students, we will go to the next question. How does the English teacher of the Jela school help the students in practice debating? So I already told you about uh, activity clubs and in my speech I told that Rafiq said their teacher help the students to uh, write good speeches and also show how to present them. So this is the help of the teacher for the students. So we can write the answer in this way. The English teacher guides the students not only in writing good speeches but also in showing how to present them before an audience. You may use it or not. Before audience you may uh, leave this part. So you, have, you can give modified answer. Dear students, this is our topic today. Now I am giving you two homeworks. Number one you have to write a paragraph not more than 70 to 80 words about a school that is situated in the village area. That means you have to think that you are a student of a village areas school. Now you have to write a paragraph about 70 to 80 words about your school and secondly you have to write five sentences mentioning the main idea of the story. That means you have to write five sentences main sentences from the Rafix letter and the sentence must uh, be modified. You have to write only five sentences that means summary of the text in your own word. Dear students, all of us have to take steps to develop ourselves. Uh, we notice that there is a distance between the teachers and the students in the schools. We have to minimize this distance. We have to go to our teachers, discuss with them. We have to close to our teachers. If we want, if we discuss and if we uh, give our argument, then our teachers will be helpful for us. We have to be attentive to our study as well as we have to attentive to develop ourselves. We have to develop our co-curricular sites. We have to develop our potentials. And if we go to our teachers, if we uh, make a close relationship with our teachers, then it is possible for us to achieve our goal. We are poor, but we are not neglected if we develop our abilities and if we stand upright in honor and dignity amongst the nations of the world. Thank you very much.